uh, uh, for the line integrals, the Green theorem says that uh, we can use double integral to evaluate line integral. And for and and for the surface integral, there is a similar theorem as the Green theorem. That's p dx plus q dy equals the partial q partial x minus partial p partial y dx dy. And for divergence theorem, that's, that's a similar theorem with Green's theorem. It says the closed surface integral uh, P and the F dot N DS that is the triple integral uh, divergence F then DV this is for, uh, is for closed surface and the orientation is positive orientation for the green theorem, the line integral should be positive orientation. Now the, the exact theorem says that the divergence theorem says uh, the divergence theorem is, all, uh, is also called Gauss theorem. There's two conditions. The first one is the surface S is closed and the orientation orientated oriented oriented outward. The second uh, that is the vector fields vector field uh, has uh, have or um, uh, or component or vector field F have a continuous continuous first part derivative then we have the conclusion that it's the surface integral on S f dot n ds that is the divergence the, 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 the triple integral on v of divergence f and dv where, where v is the solid region It's a solid region enclosed by S. Mm. Has continuous first uh, on uh, inside. Um, an open domain. An open region. Region and that contains S. Oh, contains V. Oh, contains V. That's the divergence theorem. The proof is uh, a little similar to the Green's theorem. 
uh, suppose that the S uh, uh, consists of six uh, six uh, surfaces. The bottom the bottom surface is S one. The bottom surface that is S one, and the top surface is S two, and the four. Uh, vertical surfaces for vertical, vertical surfaces that is S3, S4, and uh, this one is S5 and uh, S6. This one is S6. This one and the uh, the, uh, the front, the the front uh, surface is, uh, is S six. The back surface is S five. Uh, because uh, S five, S six, S three, four, five, six are vertical surfaces, so they are uh, parallel to the z axis. And for uh, the to prove the divergence theorem, we only need to prove uh, because we write it down as f dot to prove um, the integral as f dot n ds that is actually uh, the p x y z times i plus q x y z times j plus r x y z times k and then dot product dot product n d s and the divergence F D S F D V that is actually the, on the V uh, partial P partial X plus partial Q partial Y plus partial R partial Z then D V we only pr we only need to prove three equations. The first one that is the triple integral on V partial P partial X D V that equals on the the integral on the surface uh, P times I P I dot N D S and uh, the triple integral partial Q partial Y dv that is the surface integral q j dot n ds and the third one the triple integral partial r partial c dv is actually the surface integral uh, r times k dot n ds now so suppose the S has projection on X or Y uh, plane that is uh, that is D. So uh, we only prove the third one. The the first and the uh, first and the second one has the same steps. Okay. Uh, we know that uh, surface integral F dot N ds that is actually the integral on s1 plus integral on s2 plus integral on s3 and on s4 s5 s6 the f dot n ds now consider 
as the r uh, k dot n ds uh, dot n ds uh, we consider consider this part that's actually that's uh, s1 uh, s2 uh, s3 uh, s4 uh, s5 uh, s6 that's r k dot n d s but uh, k dot n equals zero on s3 s4 s5 s6 because they are vertical they are ver vertical vertical surfaces vertical surfaces has z complement equals zero and have z complement Zero. So the dot the dot product is zero. So the S and the R K dot N D S on S that is actually the S one R K dot N D S plus on S two R K dot N DS. Okay. On S one, suppose the on S one, suppose the uh, representation that is Z equals phi one x y, and uh, S two. On S two, Z is phi two x y. On S2, that is upward. The orientation is upward. On S1, is downward. Right in, in, in another, in another uh, row. On S1, because it is outward, so, so on S1, is, the orientation is downward because the orientation is axis as uh, one as here at three is here as five is here because the orientation is uh, outward on s2 if z the the, uh, the surface is Represent, represented by z equals phi 2 x y and the orientation is upward so on s1 s1 r k dot n d s uh, the NDS on S1 that is phi uh, x, phi 1 x, phi 1 y, and the negative 1 because it's downward. And for S2, the NDS that is phi 2, negative phi 2 x, negative phi 2 y, and 1, uh, dx dy dx dy so the s1 plus s2 r k r that's r that's r k dot n ds on s1 that is uh, the on d uh, the, the uh, change to the double integral as uh, on the d as r 
that is x y z becomes phi 1 x y and k dot n that is negative 1 then dx dy plus s2 as integral on r on d they are x y z chain uh, use phi 2 x y and uh, k dot n that is uh, k, k dot n d s that is 1 and d x d y so that a equals that on d r x y phi 2 x y minus r x y phi 1 x y that's dx dy now use this fundamental theorem that's only change in z so actually in the bracket the bracket is d the integration partial r partial z the lower limit is phi 1 x y phi 2 x y then dz then dx dy that's actually the triple integral v partial r partial z dv that's the proof of divergent theorem. Our other two equations can be proved proved similar. Uh, can be proved similarly. The other two. These two can be proved similarly. Okay, that's the divergent theorem. If the integration integration is on the closed uh, surface, then we can use divergent theorem directly. If, uh, if both S and F uh, satisfy the conditions. Let's uh, look for some examples. First example is evaluate the surface integral F dot N D S where f equals x cube i plus y cube j plus z cube k and s mm, and s uh, is the boundary is a boundary surface yes. surface of solid region of the solid region enclosed by two surfaces C equals x square plus y um, oh, C C equals square root a square plus uh, minus x square minus y square and C equals zero. That's actually the uh, hemisphere uh, 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 together with uh, with the plane x y plane. So the solution. Uh, first, we draw the draw the graph as the uh, upper half semisphere, and uh, that's x y z uh, x x y plane as z equals zero, and uh, uh, it should be uh, an oriented oriented uh, outward. We should always point out what the direction the, or the orientation of the surface. Mm. 
So the orientation for the hemisphere is point upward and for the plane is point downward because it's outward. So the outward and we can use the divergence theorem directly. The S F dot N D S that is equal V divergence F then D V. The divergence F that is 3x squared plus 3y squared plus 3z squared. And the solid region can be write as x, y, z. For x, y, the projection is x squared plus y squared less or equal to a squared. Take z equals 0. And for z, the lower limit is, is 0 because the plane is 0 and the upper limit is the hemisphere x square minus x square minus y square and actually uh, this is part the solid region v is uh, a part of wall so it's uh, it's better to use spheric coordinates spheric coordinates r phi theta then the theta is from 0 to 2 pi and phi is from 0 to pi over 2 because because on the plane uh, any vector on the plane uh, has angle with the axis pi over 2 and for r r is from 0 to a uh, you draw any uh, draw any ray from the origin, start from the origin, the maximum of the length that is A. So the integration V divergence F D V that is uses the free coordinates. Okay, so now we write here one more step. That is 3x square plus y square plus z square, then dv. Then use the spheric coordinates, theta from 0 to 2 pi, phi so from 0 to pi over 2, and r from 0 to a. And x square plus y square plus z square, that is r square, and the dv that is r square sine phi dr d phi d theta now first we integration for r that is r4 so that is 3 over 5 r3 uh, r5 uh, from 0 to a and then sine phi d d theta that is a, a 3a of 5 over 5 it's constant so we can take the constant out out the integration symbol and for sine phi that is a negative cos phi from 0 to pi over 2 and then d theta Negative cosine phi from 0 to pi over 2, that is 1. So that is 3a5 over 5 times theta. Theta is from 0 to 2 pi. So actually, that is 6 pi a over 5 over 5. That's the result for this, for this example. Like the green theorem, the divergence theorem can uh, we can uh, use uh, the divergence theorem can uh, also apply it to open surface surfaces. Uh, let's see an example. Uh, just like uh, this, the, the same idea with 
uh, green theorem applied to the open uh, open curve. We add add a add an assistant surface to make the surface closed. Let's see the uh, example. Let f equals negative one third x cube plus e of z square i plus negative one third y cube plus x tangent c g plus four c k and s be the part of the parabola z equals x square plus y square laying below z equals 4 uh, oriented oriented uh, upward compute the flux of f through s the solution is first we draw a graph for the surface because this surface is a paraboloid but it's not closed it's not it is not closed it's just open open surface and uh, the orientation is uh, upward upward so it's open so we add an assistant uh, surface so assistant surface c equals 4 and uh, oriented orient downward why is downward because this is we added this surface because for the bar parabola this uh, is oriented uh, upward uh, after we uh, uh, add this uh, assistant surface uh, make it closed then the or uh, the orientation for the parabola is point inward so the the cover uh, should uh, point downward it's point downward okay now uh, the s Uh, the s uh, f dot n ds plus the s uh, we call this s uh, one s one f dot n ds should equal negative v divergence f and dv because it's because s plus s1 as inward as oriented inward the oriented inward that is negative uh, negative uh, orientation
So uh, now we need to uh, compute the right hand side. And uh, after we uh, evaluate the right hand side and uh, uh, minus both sides by the integration on S1, then we got the integration on S. So the right hand side, first we need to find the divergence f. Divergence f. And the first part that is negative x square. And the second part divide, uh, and take the derivative of the second component for y. That is negative minus, uh, minus y square, then plus 4. So the negative integration on V divergence F that is uh, on V the uh, X square plus Y square minus four dV and what is V? At X Y Z. After we project the uh, solid region on x y plane, we have this. Uh, it's actually that is x square plus y square less or equal to four, because z equals four. X square plus y square is four. X square plus y z or y square less or equal to four. The z is between 0 and uh, x squared plus y uh, the, uh, the z. The lower limit for z is the surfaces. The uh, surface that is x squared plus y squared and less than less or equal to 4. Uh, the projection of the solid region on, on x y plane is uh, uh, disk, so it's better to use cylindrical coordinates rho theta c because here so uh, theta is from 0 to 2 pi because it's a uh, disk uh, contains the origin and uh, rho is between 0 and uh, 2 here from here and c is between rho square and 4. So the integration on v x square plus y square minus 4 dv that is from 0 to c theta from 0 to 2 pi rho from 0 to 2 and z from rho square to 4 and that is rho square minus 4 dv that is rho dz d rho d theta integration for c that is rho square minus 4 times c c is from rho square to 4 and d rho d theta That is rho square minus 4 uh, times 4 minus rho square, then d rho d theta. We expand the bracket. That is 0 to 2 pi, 0 to 2, as 16 rho square uh, minus rho 4 and minus 16 d rho d theta and that is from 0 to 2 pi uh, rho uh, 16 rho cube over 3 minus rho 5 over 5 minus 16 rho from 0 to 2 and d theta Uh, that equals uh, cube 
128 over 3 minus 32 over 5 uh, minus 32 times 2 pi that's actually uh, 5, 6, uh, 2, 5, 6 pi over 3 minus 6, 3, 4 pi over 5 minus 64 pi. Uh, that's the right hand side. So we need to we need to compute on S1. On S1 z equals 4. N d s that is 0 0 negative 1 and d x d y so on s1 the f dot n d s that is uh, on d that is x square plus y square less or equal less or equal to 4 that's negative one third x cubed plus e z square and negative one third y cubed plus x tend to z and four z and dot product zero zero negative one dx uh, dy. x square plus y square less or equal to 4 that's negative negative 4 c dx dy but on s1 for c uh, we maybe use c here uh, for z x square plus y square less or equal to 4 that is negative 16 dx dy that is negative 16 then x square plus y square less or equal to 4 dx dy that's the integration on uh, integration for one that's the area of the of the region the area of this region that is pi r square so that is pi times 4 that is negative 40 and next 60, uh, 64 pi and then we have the s f dot d uh, dot n d s that is the negative on v divergence f dv minus on s1 f dot n ds that is for the uh, for the first part 2 5 6 5 over 3 uh, minus 64 pi over 5 minus 64 pi and on s1 that that is negative 64 pi so plus 6 64 pi so that's the 2 5 6 pi over 3 minus 64 pi over 5 that's the final answer and this example shows how to use divergence theorem to evaluate the surface integral and the, surf the surface is not closed so we just add a, a assistant surfaces uh, assistant surface to make it, it closed and then we need to uh, evaluate the, the triple integral and uh, on the assistant uh, surfaces uh, surface so uh, 
from this example, we know that the oscillation surface should be simple. If it's not simple, maybe, maybe it's not uh, simplified the uh, computation. Okay, that's the divergence theorem. Uh, 